Hi everyone. Uh, recently I added this ceramic cave to my 29 because um, I wanted to increase the areas that uh, my fish would be able to hide if they wanted to and I super glued this little Anubius to it um, but I really don't like where it looks in the tank and I think I would actually prefer it in that corner so I'm gonna see if I mean obviously I can move it but if it goes in that corner, that corner is already a little too heavily planted. I'm going to see if it's possible to remove the Anubius that is super glued to the ceramic cave. Uh, so we'll see what happens. This is the uh, ceramic cave that I had put in my 29 that I super glued an Anubius to and ended up not liking where it it was in the cave, in the um, tank um, and I want to move it to an area that's already pretty heavily planted so I want to remove the super glued Anubius from the cave uh, you can see it's really only glued down in a small spot right there um, and the rest of it's pretty free moving. Um, I have this X-Acto knife with a big scalpel type blade on it um, that I wanted to replace the blade but it is stuck in there. Um, so I just cleaned it off with 91% rubbing alcohol and my idea is to really carefully slide it under the parts that are glued and see if I can get it off without breaking the plant roots. Okay, so I was able to get it off and you can see that it actually took off a little bit of the paint that is on the cave. Instead of breaking the roots, um, there is the little chip of paint right there. So I'm really glad that was the outcome because um, I really didn't want to cut the roots. So, and this will be okay, um, I'm just going to rinse this really thoroughly, place it into the cave, or tank where I want it, and um, that should be just great. So, for what I'm going to do with the Anubius, I also want to rinse this really well, just to make sure, um, I don't know why, it's just a good idea. I have the smaller cave that I want to place in the area where the big cave was. You can see that I've drawn a circle around here um, and that's where I'm going to be dremeling out for a larger hole later um, because this hole, you can see kind of how big that is, is really too small for one of my garamis to go in. Um, only like a Neon Tetra would be able to go in there right now. And I want any of my fish who might want to use it to be able to use it. But for the time being, I don't see the harm in gluing the plant on this guy and um, putting it back in the corner where the big cave was. Okay, so for the super glue to stick to the plant, um, I want to get the bottom of this as dry as possible uh, before I try to glue it. So I'm just going to let it kind of sit and be blotted on this paper towel uh, right now. And while I'm waiting for that to dry out a little bit, I'm going to make a decoration for Boo Boo's cage using um, these purple uh, leaves that I caught off the decoration in Sunny's cave, cave, cave tank, tank not that long ago. Uh, I have a rock here that I got from my uh, uh, local fish store and I'm going to just simply cut these stems shorter and hot glue them onto this rock. 
Okay, I guess I can't pause the video for that long without my phone just automatically shutting off, but here is the new decoration for Boo Boo's Tank. And I'm going to see if this is ready to be glued yet. Yeah, it feels pretty dry. So we'll see if I can get that on here. Um, let's see, where is my super glue? This is my favorite super glue. Um, it's the gel kind and it's cyanoacrylate. Um, any gel, cyanoacrylate super glue is fine to use. I just have a preference. So I'll see if I can get that glued on. Uh, I'm going to hold it on there for about 30 seconds and see if the tack, or yeah, the tack has taken, I guess. Here is the large cave placed more like where I wanted it to be. Uh, I'm not ready to put the small cave with the, um, Anubius on it into the tank until it's been dremeled. So for now, I've just filled this vase of water and stuck it into my terrarium um, to keep it wet and keep the cats away from it. And here is the new decoration for Boo Boo's tank um, that I chose to kind of try to help hide the internal filter and it just looks like a taller version of this little purple plant which was purchased. Um, I think he likes it. So there's my aquarium crafts for today. Thank you for watching.